So anyway, Captain Roy, in search of whales after they had used up the whales of the North Atlantic, the whole whaling fleet looked for whales to keep the North American economy going. Captain Roy left and went round South America. He went to the Bering Sea, finally. These trips took three or four years. And he found bowhead whale in the Bering Sea, and he filled his boat with the oil of the bowhead whale, and he went back to New Bedford, and thus starts the rush to Alaska. Whole whaling fleet left. Along comes the Civil War. <coughs> Pretty soon it's 1863. The Confederacy says if we don't do something about northern industry, we might lose the Civil War. Northern industry runs on whale oil, and their sailors come from the whaling fleet. The Northern Navy sailors come from the whaling fleet. If we could sink their whaling fleet, we could eliminate their source of oil and their source of seamen. So they found Captain Waddell in the Confederate Navy. They sent Captain Waddell to England to get a boat called the Shenandoah, a gunship. <laughs> Captain Waddell went to England, got the Shenandoah, headed it around Africa to Australia, and then to Hawaii, and then to the Bering Sea, and there he accosted our whaling fleet. And in three weeks' time, he sank or burned to the water line 38 whaling ships. He couldn't find any more to sink. Where are the Californians in here? This is for you. He headed for San Francisco, Captain Waddell did, on the Shenandoah, with a stated intent of capturing the city of San Francisco for the Confederacy. Now, lucky for you Californians, Waddell stopped another boat before he got to San Francisco, because I think he would have captured it. He stopped another boat, and on that boat there was a newspaper, and the newspaper had the word Appomattox on the front page. And Captain Waddell realized when he read the paper that not only was the Civil War over, it was over for a month before he sank his first whaling ship. And that makes it the last battle of the Civil War. And if you don't believe it, get a book called Confederate Raiders in the North Pacific. That's one of the books that tells about it. 